All right, welcome back in just about 20 minutes before five o'clock. So glad you're joining us here on this Wednesday. That's going to be windy. It's going to be warm and out the door. It's a little bit wet. It's a bet I could do for alliterations for this morning. A lot of W is going on, isn't there for today? Live look, this is down in Perrysburg. And what we can tell from this camera, roadways are wet from the showers we've had overnight, but temperatures are above freezing. 36 degrees, so there's wet weather, but no icy or wintry type of precipitation coming down right now. It's an east wind at 11 miles an hour, and even though it doesn't seem very impressive so far, today will be easily, look at our 10-day forecast temperature trend, the warmest day for the next week and a half. Let's look at how it's shaping up for today, not only here, but across the eastern half of the U.S., where we still have a few lingering showers and sprinkles. This is nothing more than just some light rainfall. On the northern fringe of this system, there is snow from Michigan all the way up to uh, Minnesota and back to the Dakotas, but that cold air is getting pushed out by warm weather. And down to the south, that warm combination along with thunderstorms means a significant severe weather outbreak likely. The state of Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Alabama will be under the gun later this afternoon for strong gusty winds and very likely tornadoes. For us, we're not talking about severe weather on the way forward today, but it will be warm, it will be windy, and our chance for rain after these sprinkles and light showers this morning will increase after the sun goes down once again for tonight. Let me show you what I mean here. My hour by hour forecast, put the clock into motion, and even through noon, you're gonna look at this, say 53 at noon. We're gonna jump up quickly with a southerly wind, but this afternoon is really where we're targeting for those high temperatures to go jumping up close to 70 degrees for several hours this afternoon. Notice the sky is dry. It's relatively cloudy, but it's not until this evening that rainfall will return. This is seven, eight, nine. Here's 10 o'clock when that rainfall becomes more likely. Not only that, but a cold front approaching early tomorrow morning not only continues the chance for some scattered showers, it switches our wind direction and becomes much more likely that by lunchtime tomorrow, we're back down in the 40s and with the wind blowing, we'll likely feel more like the 30s for the majority of the day tomorrow. Maybe an isolated shower Friday and Saturday, still fairly cool. And starting off the first full week of April, clouds, cooler conditions, and at times a few showers looking likely. That's the latest on our 10-day forecast.